What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Friend and welcome back to another Pokemon discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the up and coming Pokemon Presents that got announced at the last week's Pokemon Presents. Basically, them saying that there is still more information on Pokemon games that we do not know that they want to go over before the year is up, before they're usually hour long presents where they usually have a whole Pokemon press conference. They couldn't do that this year. They basically broke it up, you could say, into two presents. And one was last week where we got basically Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Smile, that cafe mobile game that's coming, I believe, this week. And then more information on the Isle of Armor DLC, which is released on the same day. And then now we're going into another week of another jam-packed, it could be jam-packed, of news on potential Pokemon games that we don't know or, you know, Detective Pikachu, more stuff on the cafe or more stuff from the Crown Tundra, leaks, allure, rumors, spreading, a lot of things going on. But there has been one thing that has been kind of like everybody's been pointing to and just basically bringing up because it is a consistent thing that has been happening. And that is with, of course, Masuda tweeting out on Instagram, not tweeting out, but basically posting on Instagram pictures of him with captions that kind of like line up to future releases and future games that come along in the Pokemon series. So there is one, I'm going to see if I can find it, of a Instagram picture of Masuda basically brushing his teeth and then he has a shirt that says smile. And as you guys know, there is a Pokemon smile game that is out now that's basically a brushing your teeth companion app that teaches little kids how to brush teeth and i thought that was pretty cool that he did that a while ago and then we just got the app released and then people started to dig around now that it, you know there's a president for this thing to actually happen and actually coincide with a real release of a real game. Now people start digging around and they found this Instagram post by Masuda, again, with a cat on his shoulder. And it says, let's go. Kick, I think kick, which I think means cat. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what it means. It could be the name of the cat or, you know, cat in the language. And a lot of people are speculating this potentially could be teasing a brand new let's go game now you might be thinking oh let's go what meowth no <laughs> no let's go espion and umbreon in the last week's pokemon presents there were a ton of plushies in the back that were espion umbreon there were lugia ho ho the three legendary dogs the the gen 2 starters fully evolved um there was a box that had the the basically the pokemon let's go nintendo switch box and there was a uh, two espion uh, again an espion and an umbreon basically in front of that let's go box and a lot of people were wondering that maybe this was set up for a let's go you know johto reveal and I, I didn't want to cover it i was like that may be reaching that's just probably something that was just set up and he just sat down and didn't think about it you know what i'm saying However, when you get this image of Masuda tweeting out this let's go, you got that, and then you also got one more thing. Now this, again, is probably like, I don't want to say is the worst thing to kind of tie together with this, but this could have been someone guessing, and of course, this is from 4chan, basically someone predicting what's going to be happening at the Pokemon Presents that's going to happen next week. So, please, 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 please don't roast me. Take all of this with a grain of salt. We're just going to connect the dots and put this together with this just because for the conversation let's dive in it says basically i recently got the information on what will be shown at the direct next week believe this or not it's not my problem but here what would be shown now again 4chan has been right in the past about a few things when it comes to pokemon and it's kind of the verbiage they use like don't be mad at me for if i'm not right if i'm not wrong it's kind of the verbiage they use so again this could be someone just playing around knowing that this is the verbiage they use or 
This could be the real deal. It says, opens up with Crown Tundra overview trailer showing something such as the map and returning Pokemon. Teases a Galarian form of Reg Regigigas. We get a release date, which is September 9th. Now, to me, once that Pokemon Presents opens up, if we see the Crown Tundra, I'm gonna be like, okay, that's a good guess. However, if we see that September 9th date, to me, I'm like, okay, I believe him. I believe him. We're getting everything else that's on this list. But let's dive in. Let's continue to see what else. It says new Pokemon Snap release date announced on July 10th. I'm wondering if we are going to see a release date for Pokemon Snap. Why did they didn't include that with that trailer that they showed? And it would be kind of a waste if they just re-showed the same trailer or maybe even a different one at this point. And then basically give us a date with it when you could have did that with the announcement. But... Hey, and then we all they saying that we're gonna get a Pokemon Tournament 2 announced early 2021 release date. Again, something that's in the dark. Anybody could guess this, but at the same time, it is cool. I, I hope we do get a Pokemon Tournament 2. Not a huge fan of the first one. It's kind of weird. I didn't really fall in love with the battle system. And how, it, you know, you switch stance and all that. I would prefer something that looks just like Dragon Ball Z Fighters 3 on 3. And just throw Pokemon in there and give me that as a game. And I'll be down for that. And then obviously they lead on to the one that we're doing this video for. And of course that is Let's Go Umbreon and Let's Go Umbreon. They did have a correction underneath that says, I meant to say Espeon, not Umbreon twice. Sorry, but uh, Let's Go Umbreon, Let's Go Espeon for November 20th of this year. Meaning, basically, we will be getting a Pokemon game, a brand new Pokemon release this year. And that is like, what? Not a spinoff. We're getting a mainline Pokemon game this year if if the Let's Go Johto drops this year. And I will be down for that. That sounds incredible. Does sound a little bit cluttery if we're thinking that we are getting Crown Tundra around that time in September. And then November, <laughs> we're getting a brand new Regis to run through with Johto and Kanto because Kanto is in Johto and it... Basically, it says that in that in the trailer, we're gonna show they're gonna show both Johto and Kanto in the game as well as some other things like Pokemon following you and the day and night cycle. And then they finish with the bomb, of course, the pie in the sky, the dream, the thing everybody wants, and that's of course the Diamond and Pearl remakes, Artis, Diaga, and Paga with a new form. And it says that the names are Timeless Diamond and Spaceless Pearl. And they will release November 2021. Kind of weird to get a Pokemon released, a Pokemon named and teased for a game that's basically a year, more than a year away at this point. And it, I'm like, mm, maybe. They kind of did that with Sword and Shield. But it's, again, it's, it, it is a maybe. It is a stretch. This is a rumor. I wouldn't call it a leak. This is basically fan fiction at this point until we get more information. Again, with that Instagram post of the Let's Go thing, I think that might be solidified and might be something that may come to light. And that's why I wanted to do this video before Wednesday. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's have that conversation. Do you think this is real? Do you think we're going to get Let's Go Johto remakes this year? And to me, that's what probably the biggest takeaway of it is that this year, 2020, we're going to get Pokemon Smile. We got Pokemon Isle of Armor. We got Pokemon Crown Tundra coming. We got Pokemon Snap coming. We got Pokemon The Cafe coming. Are they still going to squeeze in a brand new adventure like the Let's Go Pokemon Johto Usbreon or Umbreon or whatever they want to call it. Do you think that fits alongside of everything that's going on with Pokemon? Do you think it's too much? Let me know. Let's talk about it in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So again, let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, I do videos like this all the time. Talking about Pokemon, having discussion videos with you guys. Also, dropping Let's Plays left and right. I am currently doing the Let's Play for the Isle of Armor. As well as the Let's Play for The Last of Us 2. So if you do enjoy those types of videos, again, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it. So other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And let's go. Johto. Or oh, Espeon and Umbreon. Because that... I'm down. I'm with it. I'll be along for the ride. Just 
let me capture Pokemon. Let me play the game using this. That's all I want. I just want to use my damn $90 fucking Pro Controller for a game on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, Pokemon? That's all I want to use. Let me let me use this. Let me use it. I don't I don't want a fucking ball. I don't want to fucking catch like this with a Joy-Con. Let me catch with this. And that is all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one